going to break this wall with a Draco Meteor from nowhere. It's like an RKO out of nowhere. I am so excited to be able to show off these new Paradox mods. They are so good in the sun. So the Great Tusk is actually a huge threat to our entire team. I'm actually going to stay in and just go for Solar Beam. I know it's a little unorthodox, but we don't have a safe switch versus this thing. Unfortunately, they do take it, and I'm assuming a Headlong Rush is coming, and it doesn't. They actually use Stealth Rock, and that is fine with me, because that is probably the biggest threat on their entire team. Volcarona, they're going to do this Quiver Dance stuff, but I've got a little bit of a present for them. We're going to go for the Rapid Spin to get rid of that, save our Cerulegis uh, Focus Sash, but I've got a Blissey here. We're going to take that like a champ, and this is why I am running the Lagging Tail Blissey. We're going to take that Fiery Dance, but guess what? The dancing is over. Party's over. We're going to go for Trick Lagging Tail, and now we go first. We're going to take, we're just going to sacrifice the Blissey. We're not worried about that any longer, and now is when the real fun begins. We're going to go for the Walking Wake. The Suicune of that was never was. Hydro Steam, we don't care about your little stab boost. We don't care. The Lagging Tail is going to take care of you. And look at this. We're going to go for Substitute here because boom, we do that. Even if they went for an actual move, they're not going to be able to break the Substitute here. But the only unfortunate part is we can't, we don't have Nasty Plot or something like that or Calm Mind like Suicune does. But this is the Walking Wake and hopefully we'll find an answer. So Toxapex is going to hit us with these infestations. Not a big deal here. I'm going to try and surprise them, let's, let's go and soften them up for one more Hydro Steam, and they do not go for Recover. So what are we going to do? We're going to break this wall with a Draco Meteor from nowhere. It's like an RKO, out of nowhere, and boom, we take it. How wonderful is that? Now here's what sucks here. We're going to go for this Draco Meteor. We do have that special attack drop, and now we get another one. We're going to go for the Dragon Dance. It's not that big a deal unless they have Roost, and they have Roost, which you look at that. That is not good, because now we just go for these Draco Meteors, and we're just kind of in La La Land. I think at this point, because they, if they're going to start, like, you know, getting all their speed all crazy here, I think we just go for the Iron Leaves. It kind of sucks to put the Iron Leaves in Jeopardy, because I kind of want to use it, but guess what? This is uh, quite the dire moment. So, Dragonite's going to use their Extreme Speed. It's going to kill us. Here's the thing. We still are not out of this, because we have a Cerulege with the Focus Sash. I'm going to go into Terra Type Fire. We are going to get the weak armor. I prefer weak armor when you're running the Focus Sash. Bitter Blade. Here's the thing. They are not expecting me to be faster. Boom. That is the key. With the weak armor, we have a two times speed, and they forget that we're not a ghost type anymore. They could have used extreme speed. Instead, they got careless, and we get the kill. That was so amazing. I absolutely love that. Garganicles out here. We still have to worry about this thing. I'm going to go for Solar Beam. It doesn't quite do as much as I'd want it to, so I think we're kind of just stalling. I want to get a clean... Entry with the skill villain, and we just survive, which is absolutely wonderful here. From here on out, we go for the solar beam. ka -chow, We get it to go. And guess what? Your Suicune, I mean the walking wake, whatever they call it nowadays. These young kids will never know. We go for the solar beam. Take it down to 18%. We're going to kill ourselves in retaliation from the life orb. Agility's not going to matter here because guess what? They already know the Cerulege has the priority. Let's go. Fun in the sun, baby. That's what we're all about. Torkoal, do your thing. Set that beautiful sun in the sky. Delayed, uh, it's close. It's, I don't know if we want to really go into our Iron Leaves here. I, I elected to go for Lava Plume, because anytime they can't one-hit KO, and they're more of an offensive team, I usually just keep Torkoal, because one is as good as nothing, so... Iron Leaves here, we're going to go for the Sacred Sword, that's going to resist it, and now we get a free Trailblaze off, which is absolutely wonderful here. So we'll go for the Trailblaze, we're going to set up our speed, and with that Quark Drive, now we're having some fun in the sun. So let's see what the Iron Leaves can do. They put out this Great Tusk, but because the sun is out, we're going to be able to use that Solar Blade without charging up, and that is a one-hit KO with the Iron Leaves, and you know those leaves are just razor sharp. So we're going to go for the side blade instead. They have a sash, which is unfortunate, and they're going to get a nuzzle off, which really sucks. But I am actually going to ch attempt to fight through this. So Trailblaze, now our speed is back at neutral with the double the speed here. And let's see what they got here. Slitherwing, now I'm sure a first impression is coming. So let's go ahead and change it to the fight. And they don't even go for first impression. But we had the fighting type Terra just in case, and we take it through the paralysis. Let's go. This team actually looks pretty gosh darn scary. They also have a walking wake, and they have that dreaded Ting Lu, that bulky son of a whirlwinding stealth rocking son of a gun with ruination. Oh my god, I hate that thing. Okay, so we got the Iron Moth here, and are we gonna go for a double lagging tail? I think we are in this video. Fiery Dance, guess what? We're gonna trick him up with the lagging tail, and you gotta love it. With that speed boost, it just doesn't matter, because now you're as good as nothing. You're not as good as gold. That's for Goldango. You're good as nothing here. We're gonna hit him with the Seismic Toss. 
and then they use an agility, which is absolutely adorable, as it's going to do anything. We're going to use a seismic toss, and they go down to 1%, which really sucks, because they probably deserve to lose it, just out of principle of going for the agility. But this is actually okay, because now we have the iron leaves, and we get a free trailblaze, because again, with the lagging tail, they are going to go second. So we get the iron leaves to go first, and they have the walking wake. I'm going to attempt to do as the best I can. I'm going to go for... Oh, come on, close combat, and even with the Terra close combat, we are not going to take it, and that really, really sucks. And we could have went for the Solar Blade as well, but I didn't know if they were going to tear it into fire. I kind of just thought they would. But hey, I got ahead of myself, and here is this dreaded thing that I hate, Shadow Sneak, and it literally goes up to 100% with the leftovers damage. It's like we didn't even touch it. So Torkoal, we're going to come out here, and this is why I'm running Rapid Spin. They're, oh, they actually even double up with Spikes as well. I hate this King Lou so, so much. The second worst thing next to Garganical in the entire format. So I'm going to go for Cerulege. We are running that Sash, so I think it is important. Let's see if they're running the Whirlwind, and of course they are. Of course they are. They ruin our plans. It is what it is. I'm going to go for Skill Villain here. Hit him with the Solar Beam. It's not going to kill it because it, this thing is so bulky, it's ridiculous. And we get the Earthquake, and thank goodness, I know that they're probably going to switch, so I go for the Overheat rather than the Solar Beam, just because I wanted to guarantee a kill on whatever comes out, and that little kitty gets barbecued, so that is wonderful. The Great Tusk comes out, we got the Walking Wake, we are not afraid, unless there's Scarf, which I highly doubt, uh, we're going to use Hydro Steam, and Hydro Steam, as you know, gets stronger in the sun, it does not get weaker in the sun, and we take that son of a gun out. Walking Wake versus Walking Wake. I don't feel like losing a, um, a coin flip here. We're going to let them then drop the Draco Meteor, and then we're going to retaliate. So now they have the special attack drop, and now Torkoal is going to come out, use the Sun, and I think we just attack, because I don't think they can really do anything here. So I'm actually going to go for Stealth Rock, because now the, the Walking Wake is effectively dead. They have no way to get rid of that, and the Walking Wake has less than 12%, so they're dead. We do get the burn, fortunately. I feel like Lava Plume... I feel like I speak for everybody when I say the Lava Plume is more like 80% than 30%. just feels that way. So we actually do get the Rapid Spin off, and now our Cerulege can come in absolutely clean, and they forfeit. Let's go. Sun versus Sun. Let's go. This should be good. So they have the Walking Wake. I'm, of course, afraid of the first impression, so I'm going to Terra Type Fire so that we resist it. They end up going with their own Walking Wake, and they are four times resistant to that. We hit the Draco Meter, so we win the Speed Tie. I'm assuming they're full Speed EVs. Why wouldn't they? We do win the Tie, I'm assuming. That is unfortunate for them, but guess what? We love it. The Walking Wake for the win. And the Torkoal, they go for the U-Turn instead of like a Close Combat or something. So we're just going to get some free damage off here. I'm going to pop off a... And they go for Growth. So we're going to pop off that Lava Plume. Get a lot of nice damage here, and guess what? That growth is just not that good here. They can go for Fire Blast, blow my Torkoal out of the water, but guess what? We've got the Cerulege, and we don't even have to do anything crazy here. We don't, we, have, we even get to save our Sash. So at 100% here, so we are absolutely not worried about that. We're just going to go into our lovely Blissey. We're going to eat that like a ham sandwich. You got to love the big fat blob. And, okay, so, Great Tusk obviously does threaten our whole team to an extent, especially with that knockoff on our Iron Leaves here. They're going to go for Earthquake. I'm just going to wear them down. They don't really have any way of actually recovering. So let's just go for that uh, Body Press. That's fine. It's not a big deal. So what are we going to do? Let's go for Iron Leaves here. And they can't really threaten me that much. So I'm actually going to go for Trailblaze. Just get a little bit of speed up here. Now, I know this really sucks because they, they still have this Torkoal. But this is actually not the worst thing in the world because they do have put the sun up for us. Because we don't have any way to put up the sun anymore. We're going to go for Side Blade here and just probably die. And if we actually don't get burned, never mind. If we didn't get burned, I was going to say, we could just clear them out from there. But, of course, we get burned. It is what it is. Remember when I was saying that Lava Plume is like 95%. Either way, not a big deal. Our win condition here is not really the Iron Leaves from here on off anyway. And we actually go for the Side Blade. But I think with the Solar Blade, again, because we do have the Sun, we're going to do it. I think we should. We get the kill with the Iron Leaves. So... Iron Leaves putting them work through the burn, through the paralysis, through the fire and flames. Iron Leaves is carrying on. Dragon Pulse kills our Iron Leaves, but that's okay. It was never meant to be anyway. We're going to go for our Scavillain here, which has the boosted speed in the sun for just one more turn. But we nevertheless, that's all we need to kill that stupid Charizard here. Here's the thing. They're going to go for Slitherwing. First impression is going to kill our Scavillain here. But guess what? We got the Cerulege, and now I'm going to go for some Bitter Blade action here. It's going to kill the Torkoal. Now, before we get the Swords Dance off, we're going to go for the Bitter Blade, get some free health back, and now their first impression is not going to be able to kill our Cerulege. We do resist the crap out of that. We do not care. Cerulege in the sun. 
how awesome of a finish. The weak armor just for style points, and that is one bitter blade.